Hi guys, here we are with your Module 8-2 Lunar Cycle Vocabulary. Starting off with Lunar Cycle, this is a pattern or movement of the Moon around the Earth. This causes the Moon to appear to change. This takes 29.5 days and repeats in a counterclockwise pattern. Phases are a regular and reoccurring cycle of changes in the moon's appearance. We will learn more about the specific phases later, but here are some picture of phases that you may have seen before. Waxing means to be getting larger. After a new moon, the moon appears to get larger, or the lighted surface appears to increase. This is called waxing, just as in wax on from the movie Karate Kid. We are waxing on to the right. Waning means to be getting smaller. After a full moon, the lighted surface appears to decrease. This is called waning, as in the Karate Kid, wane off to the left. Crescent moon. This is the shape of the moon that is less than a quarter moon. This is the phase of the moon between a new moon and the first quarter moon, and also between the last quarter moon and the new moon. Gibbous moon. This is the shape of the moon that is greater than a quarter moon, but not full. The gibbous moon happens on either side of the full moon, from the first quarter to the full moon, and from the full moon to the last quarter. The full moon is when the entire disk is illuminated. You've probably seen many full moons. The first quarter moon is when half the disk with the lighted side is on the right. The last quarter moon is when half the disk with the lighted side is on the left. The new moon is the phase of the moon when the moon is between the sun and the earth. You can see the sun lighting the moon. We don't see the lit side. What we see is the dark side. These are the phases in order. We start with the new moon and in a counterclockwise rotation we have the waxing crescent, the first quarter, the waxing gibbous, the full moon, the waning gibbous, the last quarter moon, also known as the third quarter moon, the waning crescent, and then the cycle repeats with the new moon starting again. This is an acronym called FENS, F-E-N-S, and it will help you remember the phases of the moon. It can help you to remind yourself of the position of the earth, moon, and sun. When the moon is a full moon, the position is full moon, earth, and then the sun. When the moon is a new moon, the position is earth, new moon, and then sun. The phases are always in this order. You just need to figure out where the sun and earth are located and fill in the full or the new moon. Good luck!